let's just start with uh, main.c file. Uh, this is going to be a very simple, uh, very simple file. You know, typical main for here. Um, I'm doing system initialization, and then there's a while loop uh, that's going to run my my system tasks and my application tasks. So let's take a look at this file as well. So if I look at the system task. Again, it will be a very simple uh, thing in there. I didn't select much in there, so I have uh, device configuration uh, tasks will be, the task will be sitting here, and I'm going to execute my application task. And this is going to be executed in a while loop. Uh, next thing you saw about, uh, I showed you system initialization code. So uh, let's, uh, let's look at the system initialization. And again, things in there will be like, uh, Wrong file. Things in there will be, uh, you know, initializing clock, um, initializing UR driver that we selected, uh, initializing interrupts because I'm selecting the, uh, you know, I, I configure my uh, UR to use the interrupts, and initializing application. So again, all of this code was automatically generated for me. I didn't have to do any of this stuff, any of this, uh, you know, d develop any of this code as a customer, as a, as an application writer. All this code was developed for me. Um, and let's take a look at the actual application file. This is where users will place their own code. It's going to be a very, very simple file as well. So here's the app initialize. This is where you place um, any kind of initialization, uh, you know, code you, you may need. Uh, so again, we kind of basically created a template for you. Uh, you just put it, your initialization code here, and the system um, uh, code that we generated will call this file for you. And the same thing with the uh, application task. This is where you actually write your application. So we create a very simple state-driven uh, type of application. Uh, there is a state machine defined in the app.h file, and this is where you simply use it in the app.c file. You just, you know, add your states as you need it and uh, add your application code here. And the uh, app, app task function will be called together with other system um, tasks uh, that, you know, you, that you may require. So you can see it's a very simple template. All of this is created for you. And it's, you can literally uh, go ahead and build this code. I'm going to go ahead and click on the build button. Um, uh, the, the whole application builds, and you can uh, once it's done building, you can download it into your target uh, device and run it. And it's building right now, as you can see on the bottom of my screen, and it's done. So uh, we do generate uh, we do generate fully, uh, you know, compilable, fully buildable, fully you know the code that will actually run. Now, notice we obviously didn't generate any application code, so this application will run but will not execute any useful information. This is where, or useful work, I should say, uh, this is where you guys need to, um, you know, add your application code to do something with the UART and so on. But UART will be fully initialized and available for you, uh, for you to work with.